what is going on guys welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard and 2k20 and weight loss week one results it's gonna be all that stuff on this video so let's just get right into it but before anything just remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I'll be here Wednesday for the launch of SummerSlam 19 tier I believe I'll be streaming it so we'll have probably a chill party if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe as always makes me happy to let you know you are on the team with ed now let's get into first we're gonna first do the supercar content of course and then we'll do the 2k20 stuff so yeah team ring domination is of course bray wyatt again why do we have so many bray wyatt events like we just had a flash four days events of him and now we're getting him again uh, here's the undercards for everyone who did not know what they are. There they are, right then and there. Yes, Seamus again. Seamus. Seamus again. Uh, good to see you again, bud. How you doing? How are you? It's good to see you, man. All right. Now, let's get out of the way. Good luck to everyone in the team. I ring down the final team ring down before the brand new tier on Wednesday. So, super card wise, uh, let's go ahead and get into the free gift. I was actually uh, kind of very disappointed with this free gift. Don't get me wrong. I was disappointed when I saw a card back. Yikes. If this is the only free gift, like, okay, but eh, I expected a little more. A little more, but, you know, we get what we get. It's free. Can't complain. Can't complain. I just expected more. Maybe there could be more gifts later this week. I don't know. But, yeah, I, I would have rather had a tier pull of, like, a free tier pull. You know, I would, I would have much rather had that. But we get a, a free gift, so we'll take the card back. Not the biggest fan of it, you know, it's just a SummerSlam logo with designs. Uh, but since SummerSlam has been in New York for like four years, I'm freaking sick of SummerSlam, to be honest, so I don't really care. Now, this, this pack is funny. I love how that shit went 50% off so quick. I'm guessing no one bought it or something. But, man, this pack was 12.5K credits literally the other day. And now look at it. Look at the price now. I feel like how many? I feel bad for everyone who opened this pack because they could have bought two for the price of one. It's just so wrong. But yeah, I don't get it. A lot of sales today, obviously, because the tier is coming to an end soon. So obviously, they want you guys to capitalize on those sales. Uh, so we did complete the Bray Wyatt for all the people who came to the streams. Thank you guys so so much for coming on to the stream, supporting your boy. I've had a blast for you guys. Thanks to you guys from streaming all that stuff. We did actually hit 17,500 subs. So a big thank you again to all you guys who uh, subscribed. And we welcome in all the new other subscribers coming in for SummerSlam 19 here. But here is the Bray Wyatt Fiend card. I used this picture because it looks so good on this card in my opinion. So I kept, I used this picture. This isn't the Survivor one. This is actually the Season 2 Super Rare version. So I don't have any of that red glow around it. And I think it looks fantastic. It looks more dark. It looks more awesome. Here's what I went with this card. And I went with the Fiend on this one. Uh, overall, it's just a money in the bank type card. You can clearly see the stats. Uh, he's pretty much a little better than every other fusion, summer fusion that we have. I guess these, these are only better because they have enhancements on them. But once uh, like this once this expires, he'll drop down, of course, to so people with no enhancements. Uh, but you can clearly see the stats like three uh, nine seven eight nine seven nine nine six four nine three eight and then you see this brace stats uh, nine eight one nine eighty nine six five nine four one so he's like 3k to 2k better in every stat in one well not every stat obviously the toughness I'm, I'm gonna lose the toughness cards that people want toughness but he's 3k better in most stats than if your fusion was max on that stat so it's a overpowered money in the bank fusion card overpowered that's all it is. But this one, of course, is the ultimate power of Bray Wyatt. Because it's a heroic. So it goes above 1 million, close to 1.5. Uh, I think he'll be better than a couple cards. He'll, he'll kill Samoa Joe. He'll kill my Samoa Joe. And probably power, toughness, and charisma. Since Joe's weak in those categories for me, of course. But yeah, it's okay. And uh, so... There's not really much super card content wise. Uh, I believe I have a TBG pack that I can open up for you guys right here, right now. So we got a free gift and then we got TBGs. Honestly, guys, if I were you, I'd just save these packs because it will turn to guaranteed Cataclysm cards at the end on Wednesday. 
But I'm just going to open it because I, 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 there's no more Cataclysm kind of cards for me. My, my deck's fully complete. I just I just want the BP ready to go. So we get the worst possible rewards. Like, what the hell is this? All right. Thank you so much. I really wanted that Batista. But, yeah, my, my deck is completely done. I'll gladly show you guys what my deck looks like for uh, the mode. Uh, Rose of Glory. Here's my complete full deck. My worst card is Matt Riddle Fusion. Uh, pretty much, we're set, ready to go for the next tier. Ready to go. And then, of course, down below, we have this. Usually, I take this Charlotte out, and I put in Bailey, so I can get the up, down, up, down. So, there you guys go. Full deck, ready to go. SummerSlam 19 tier. Here we go. Should be a fun time. I'm not going to spend a shitload of money on that tier, though, because... It is the last tier of the game, and there's no point in spending a huge amounts of money on that tier. Let me just go ahead and autofill that. Oh, wow. All right. That's pretty funny. So, yeah. Supercard-wise, uh, that's pretty much all the content I have for today, Supercard-wise. But now, let's get into the next part of the video, which is WWE 2K20 news that have been released and all that stuff. So, let's break it down real quick. So, the first thing is, thanks. Uh, so I want to say a big thank you to JB. I did take this from his video, just screenshotted it. Uh, if you guys do not know JB, you guys can go check him out. Links in the description. Go give him a sub if you if you don't know him, which you probably fucking do. But, uh, yeah, I got these from JB stuff, so I took screenshots. So, here is the standard edition, which, of course, will cost 60 USD, 60 pounds, wherever you're from. So those are the brand new fe uh, the features for the game. First ever in my career mode for female. You know, the four horsewomen showcase. I don't know why they're so focused on the women in this one. Like, the women have died down a lot in WWE. And they really haven't been talking about the horsewomen or anything like that at all. So it's a little weird to see them focus on it in this game. When it should have been focused on years ago. When it made sense. But right now the women's division is being, like, dragged down by a lot of people. So it's like... A lot of people are losing faith in the women's division as of right now. So it's just a little weird to see them now showcase this years later when they should have done this back like in the NXT era of like Sasha Banks and Charlotte and Becky. But eh, whatever, I guess. Mixed match type challenges are back. I guess it could come to Supercar, like I said, with Becky being a left arrow, Seth Rollins being a right arrow. It could make sense that this is being implemented in 2K20. They could implement it into Supercard. It could make total sense. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, WWE 2K Originals. I don't really have much info on that. I don't think JB had much info on that either. But yeah. And then we have a store, WWE Towers again. Who knows? Maybe for another million dollars. Maybe $2.5 million. Who knows? But yeah. Uh, hopefully it's someone much better than AJ Styles. Because man, he did not do good at all. So but it will be against Roman Reigns. I think if they do another challenge. Because it is a tower based on Roman Reigns. So, Roman Reigns will most likely you'll have to fight him. And I'm sure he'll take it way more serious than AJ did. So, that's the standard edition. Of course, again, $60 USD or in, uh, I think, pounds as well. Then we have the Deluxe Edition. So, as you can clearly see, we have the Accelerated Kickstarter. It comes with everyone, usually. The complete WWE 2K original set. Uh, you know, I guess that's... Uh, we'll have to know more of that later on because <laughs> they don't really know about originals. Uh, it's a SmackDown 20th Anniversary DLC, which gives you China, you know, The Rock. I kind of lowered it. I made it so small that I can't even see it, but you'll probably see it on video. But yeah, uh, we got China, so shout out to that. You know, awesome. They gave China. And then, of course, we got the WWE Supercard content. We believe that in this version, you're going to get Roman Reigns and Becky Lynch. That is what we believe so far. And that's probably why you won't see it in Standard Editions, because there is a female involved. So that's probably why it's not standards. If it was probably just Roman Reigns, I could see it going to everything. But you're going to have to spend $90 or 90 pounds, whatever it is, in your countries. But 90 USD for the Deluxe Edition to get the Supercar content. Uh, I believe that's a little more expensive than last year's, but I'm not too sure. I, I don't know if I remember if, I remember if it was $80 last year or if it was 90 but most of the deluxes are $20, $30 more than what they are for the original game. So, it's understandable. So, okay. All right. And then, of course, we got the big one. The SmackDown 2K Collector's Edition. So, in this version, you get pretty much all you see there. However, for the Plex, you only get one of three. So, you can either get Kurt Angle, Edge, or Rey Mysterio. Uh, for me, if I get it, 
I'll either hope for Edge or Kurt Angle. No disrespect to Rey Mysterio, but I, I feel like Edge and Kurt Angle mean more to me than I would for Rey Mysterio. Uh, if I had to choose, I would probably pick Edge out of all those because I love Edge. Uh, of course, you get the deluxe edition for this one. You get a ring mat, like a SmackDown ring mat, I guess. It's like 30,000 total only. So there's only going to be 30,000 collector's editions, obviously. Until they make another version of it, like WrestleMania or something like that. <laughs> and then, of course, you got the bottom parts. I'll go ahead and I guess I'll maximize this. Uh, you get the bottom stuff, the playable superstars like Rock, Hulk Hogan, China, the usual. But then you see right there, I know all of you care about the supercard stuff. So right there, clearly see... We got Roman Reigns and Becky Lynch, and that's what we're expecting for the Deluxe Edition. But for the Collector's Edition, we're looking to see that there's going to be a Rock and a Mankind card for the Collector's Edition with a Mr. Socko support card. Now, we don't know what the support card will do. Probably, I don't know if it'll be OP as hell like a manager or something like that. Who knows? But, as you all know... I will most likely be buying the collector's edition and I will just be giving away my super card QR codes to, to you guys. Uh, obviously not all of you can win the code. Uh, if it's two separates, then I'll obviously have two separate winners from my YouTube channel who are subscribed to the channel. So yeah, when that comes out, uh, congrats to two people who are going to win those QR codes because they could use it over me. I don't really see the benefit of using those codes. Sure for images and all. But I've done so much with this game, like I feel like you guys deserve it more than I do. So I will go ahead and gladly. And that all right there can be yours for the whopping price of $140 USD, I believe, is the price tag. Or $140 in Euro or pounds, whatever. Honestly, that's kind of steep. I feel like last year we got a lot more for the buck of 130 even though I didn't pay 130 it was 130 and you got literally a lot Hall of Fame ring replica a freaking Ric Flair Funko Pop that went for $80 when it first released on eBay who knows how much it goes for now those QR codes can sell on eBay for up to 100 to 150 dollars so you can easily make your money back just by buying this collector's edition, which is why I recommend you guys buy the collector's edition. You could easily make your money back and make a profit off this shit. I won't do that because, you know, that's just scummy in my opinion. But I will keep you guys posted on that giveaway when the time comes, which is in October. So, yeah. So let me get that out the way. And for all of you who want to know all about my weight loss journey... Uh, we, today was my first day on the scale for the week. Well, I've been using the scale, but for you guys, I want to keep you posted. So we started the journey. Uh, let me just go back on the date. We started on uh, July 29th is when we started this weight loss. We're on August 5th. It's officially been a week since we started this weight loss. I started at 300 pounds on this weight. It was about 300.4. And, uh... Here's my first official weigh-in. I believe this is the one. Nope, that's the Rick Team Ring Dom cards. There you guys go with my first weigh-in. I'm currently weigh at 288 pounds, 0.6. So I lost roughly close to 12 pounds in my first week, which is normal. That's not impressive. That's normal. I lost all the water weight probably. And I probably lost a couple of pounds on top of the water weight that I've lost. Now comes the hard part where all your water weight is now officially gone. And then every time you drink, all that water is going to be being stored. But you know what? So far the first week, I feel great. Feel good. Currently down 12 pounds after one week. I'm very happy. Uh, next week's goal is going to be three pounds. I don't want to make it super serious because it's just going to be unhealthy as hell. Uh, my goal will be three pounds. I, will hope, I would like to hit five. And my goal for the month was 20 pounds. And we're more than halfway already there. So overall, good start to the weight loss journey for after one week. And guys, motivate yourself and you can do it. I promise you. Just motivate yourself and that's it. Uh, all right, guys. That will do, do it for today's episode. I'll see you next time. I hope the next episode I can bring you guys is some, sm uh, some reveal cards. I did hit up Cat Daddy hoping to maybe get a reveal card, but I don't think they're going to do it. Uh, 
Sorry, I tried. <laughs> uh, you know, but me and Cat Daddy don't really have that relationship at all. Uh, me and 2K either, but you know, I tried. I tried, guys. I had a lot of support for the community, and it just it just doesn't work sometimes. It's unfortunate. But I will reveal the other cards that other YouTubers do post, and I'll have it here if you guys, you know, just don't watch any of the other guys and you watch me instead. So I'll have that here either Tuesday or Wednesday. And then don't forget, we'll have the live stream on Wednesday where you guys can come hang out with me and the rest of the community while we wait for the great SummerSlam 19 tier. I love you guys so much. Like, comment, subscribe as always. I will see you in the next episode. Take care. God bless. Love you. Bye-bye.